Welcome. In this short video, we're going to look at how to set up a new FLR3 100 handheld radio with a Fuelite 3000 series display. The different options we'll look at is syncing the remote to the display, addressing each display according to its location, configuring the different font options, and entering test mode. The first step is to set a unique address on the back of the remote using the dip switches. This is similar to the setting on a garage door remote. Gives you the unique address and then allows us to sync the remote to the display so that nobody else can control the gas price with a different remote. Now that we've set a unique address on the remote, the next thing to do is to sync the remote with the displays. To do this, simply apply power to the display. You'll see the displays begin their boot up sequence. You have a five minute window to actually get the remote synced with the display. To do the sync, simply press the plus and minus key on line one until you see that decimal flash three times. That's your visual indicator that the remote is now synced with the displays. You'll see that each display is currently shown a price of 111, indicating that it's in its default state addressed to line one. The next step of the setup process is to address each display according to where it is in the display system so that the corresponding line on the remote changes the correct line. To do that, you want to hold down the plus and minus keys on line two until you begin to see the decimal flash. Once the decimal is flashing, you'll also see one of the displays begin to pulse. As it's pulsing, just press the plus key on line two until the correct line number is set. We'll leave this display set for line one. To advance to the next display, just hold down the plus and minus keys again until the next display begins to flash. Again, I just press the plus key until it's addressed to the correct line and so on until all displays in the system are addressed correctly. Once all displays are addressed, you want to hold down the plus and minus keys on the remote to exit the addressing mode. The next setting we're going to look at is the font configuration mode for the number 6, 9, the 9 tenths digit, as well as setting it to be either domestic mode or international mode. I'll explain that shortly. To enter the configuration mode, Hold down the plus and minus keys on line three until the decimal begins to flash. You'll see the display comes up with 369. Three indicates that we're going to be changing three numbers, the first three digits, anytime we change the price. If this is a four, that would be international mode, and that'll change any of the four digits as you change the price. So currently our, our sixes and nines do not have a tail on them. If I press the plus key, you can see that now it added a tail to both the numbers six and nine, as well as configured my nine tenths digit. I can press the plus key again to go to my different options. These displays are domestic, so I wanna make sure I have a three in the front column there. Once you've got your font selection chosen, just press the plus and minus keys on line three again to exit the configuration mode. Now that we've synchronized the remote, addressed the displays, configured our font, now we're ready to set the prices on our display. To do that, simply hold down the line number that you want, either, either the plus or the minus keys, until the decimal begins to flash. Now the decimal is flashing. I just simply press the plus or the minus to set the price. Now to set line two, I'll just hit the plus sign on, the, on line two, and that sets both the line two prices. To exit the price setting mode, just stop pressing down buttons and let the displays time out. Your decimal will stop flashing. With the Fuelite 3000 and 4500 series displays, they also have a built-in test mode. To enter test mode with the, using the FLR3 100 handheld, hold down the plus and minus keys on line four until the display enters the test mode. Now it'll cycle through a bunch of different pieces of information that could be useful when working with the help desk 
in the case of a service event.